Hello everybody, it's Dave Herman, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to max out my laptop today and try and draw. At the same time, I'm going to try and record uh, this session with royalty-free music. So I have a browser open with the royalty-free music off of a website called bensound.com royalty free music and electronics i have my photoshop open i'm going to pull the reference down from the other screen let me just uh, show you that so here's like a mayan snakehead with kind of like circle uh, type covering on the head and stuff so this could be some reference and i'll probably pull up other references i'm going to make a mayan kind of helmet on here out of stone and outer space materials and things if everything goes well. So we have the reference on one browser. This illustration that I started and this illustration uh, just so you know let's, let's turn off these layers and turn them on one at a time and show you what's going on. Okay so I started with a reference a reference here if I bring it up to uh, full capacity um, you know this is ghosted right so there's my reference then I put in a background underneath which I drew this on after I had done my sketch so there's a sketch let me turn off the background I mean our reference so there's a quick sketch I made from that kind of carefully with line work then I modified the nose. I wanted to look more Maya, and I have this cool uh, tobacco leaf kind of cigarette in there to conjure up the spirits. If I add color to the face, this is my hand-drawn color, and then I started a shirt and started a bandana, and then threw some tribal designs up on the top of a flying hummingbird and then I distorted it to look shiny with um, a blur. So uh, let me enlarge this a little bit so you can see it. So there's my detailed work. This is all hand painted digitally. Nothing too fancy but pretty cool I think. Good start. And uh, now what I'm going to do is add a helmet to this and none of this will really be part of it but uh, I was practicing the other day by myself, didn't record this, and thought, oh yeah, this is what I'll turn it into. And uh, so, what we're going to do is make a new layer. So go up to the tribal design layer, just so you can see if I turn that off. This is the power of layers. I mean, I can turn off the bandana, and that's on his head. And it's just cool. Everything I'm doing layers, this one I'm kind of approaching carefully. So... Let's make a new layer, and we're going to call that, uh, let me just try that again, uh, Space Helmet for now. And let me pick another uh, royalty-free song, so let's try this thing called Endless Motion. It's kind of neat, because I've been really continuously looking for music. I'm not a guy that got into the editing of videos yet. I'm so slow to get into everything at my age. But anyways, eventually I'll solve all these problems. I'm not in a hurry because I intend to live a long life. And if I do that, let me just turn the volume back. If I'm able to do that, we'll get it all solved. Meanwhile, the figs that are coming in on my tree They are just epic. It turns out, uh, Desert King Figs. Alright, so let me take this music down even a little bit more so it doesn't interfere with our happy artwork. But I got something in the background for you. Okay, so looking at that reference, basically Kupu Khan, the plume serpent guy, he's always in the face of the serpent. 
So I just like to look at that and get some idea. So, here we go. Let's go over to brush. And I've tried doing this stuff in my Affinity Design Studio, but still I'm better at it in Photoshop. So, while I'm getting my chops in that program worked out, Look at this. There's some problems with building up layers in that, I think, where it just uh, loses track. Uh, it could be good. Usually it is good. Sometimes it's not. So let's just start out here. Uh, there's going to be these skull and serpent head and stuff, so it's based gear, I don't know, whatever I fantasize. Let's start to drag it here. Let's go way out. me draw finally and uh, I'm thinking about it making my own I just know that they have them so we're gonna kind of go with the open mouth and let's go back further say it here and enlarge this and I'm gonna invent my own but uh, basically my experience of studying some of this stuff it gives me some ideas and the references on the net so let's just do that kind of shape this I'm going to make this a little bit elongated in here you're watching me do the nostril and uh, a lot of stuff going on so let's pick another song uh, they don't start on their own after this but uh, we'll play around so let's go to a dubstep
you know but I'm not too worried about the sketch I can erase and come back when you're on a separate layer as everybody knows if say you go over to your brush watch this will not remove the background at all see so I can I can take it all back down I can specifically target a line like that you know a lot of times I'll just I'll take it back down like that and just you know doesn't have to be all built up so there we go go back to brush and uh, I'm gonna hit the music again let's try um, let's try whatever this um, mouse is <laughs> with quite a uh, eclectic group of, of martial artists and weapons collectors and uh, gathering of knowledge the gathering of knowledge was such a long process and I tried to truncate it shorten it so um, in the process of that oddly enough Michigan was a perfect place to learn that 20 something years ago. That was 30 years ago, but uh, at the time. You know, the world's different today. We've got all these things going on culturally. So, not quite the same adventure, probably, if you went out and did it, but back then it was quite an adventure and very friendly and good network of people. And I met many interesting people. Collectors are a funny type, let me tell you. So, anybody that collects is, of course, trying to be very shrewd, and uh, that's how I learned. You know, you just you find out how you don't know what's real and what is real, and how people uh, reconfigured stuff and put parts together to make something, and it looks like it's something, but it isn't something. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff I think is very very interesting because it is part of the learning process 
The study of human beings is as fascinating to me as art. Uh, art's my first love, but in the course of being in different businesses and being self-employed for the last, you know, good 30 years, uh, I have had to study many things. And so now, if I want my dragon to look interesting and also animal-like and spaceship-like, I'm going to we change this around a little bit, so. Give it my own twist. And thanks for tuning in, by the way. Thanks for watching. Usually there's one or two people that <laughs> watch my art uh, because it's not the greatest in the world, but it uh, keeps you entertained. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking of different ways to modify um, what's going on. So, larger teeth are kind of interesting too. I like the idea of them being larger, and you know, the front be the the really incisor types behind, and. You know, in the end, I might even morph the head and everything. I never know where I'm going until I get there. But the scale of this in proportion to the man's head has to be kind of properly done. And let's uh, move this around a little bit. Whoa! So you can see where that is. Where we're at, let's uh, shape something there. Keeping this in proportion. So I'm going to shape this down a little bit. Yeah, maybe a wing here, you know, like a, some kind of protrusion. Curved panel facing forward. Uh, yeah. And then... Um, Hmm. I might even do another shape up here. Because it's just a curious thing. The whole Mayan, Incan, Aztec assemblage of everything is just it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. It just and it's like totem poles on their head, you know. It is the beginning of totem poles too, you know. All these cultures just are so connected. We, I hope they can figure out the evolution. And every time they think they're getting close to that, uh, it 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 dissolves into something else. And, See, we're creating our own shapes and uh, headdresses. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Interesting. 
How do I feel about that? That's okay. Let's do some erasing. So we get in here, I'm going to break this eraser up to 100 and take the brush up, the flow up to 100. So I got some power in erasing. And I'm going to take this out for a minute. Tidy some of this up. Just see, that's a nice thing. Like I say, you're in a layer, and being in a layer, you can just erase without messing up your art that's underneath. So now I'm kind of looking for a structure that pleases me and is kind of interesting. So I've got something started. And now uh, Let's hit some music again. Let's try what's called Dream. some of this up here and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, I'm just going to follow my free will on some of this and um, then I'm going to start I'm going to do a layer of shading to take this into like a brown terracotta metal <laughs> so be wood I mean it'll be uh, pottery looking but a metal and um, we're maxing out my laptop. Seems to be working really good. So the other day, I did the complex uh, download of the most recent uh, Windows stuff, which took a while. You know, every day lately with all the uh, interference with our Internet and stuff by everybody trying to hack the United States and just the net in general, for what purpose, I don't know, because... Globally, if that thing went down, <laughs> I don't think the people even living in the countries that are attacking us could get food and supplies. It's not its not what anyone thinks, you know. They all think they're self-sufficient, but nobody is anymore. 
So best to get along is my opinion. The world needs to. It's so complex. How do you satisfy all the citizens everywhere in the world? I mean, I feel very fortunate living where I live. How do you do it? And how do you keep the population from overpopulating the earth? And how do you redistribute the resources? These challenges have got to be met by the newer generation. And so the foothold of the mega corporations, they're really tasking the younger people to get at it, create stuff, and then they of course buy it all up, but each time they buy something, uh, you know, sometimes something comes out of it. So it's like a, it's a cycle of creativity and production and stuff that we've never seen before with apps and internet things and all that kind of stuff. So I have no idea what the end result will be. I'm just hoping it's going to be good. And it's got to be done swift. So in the next 20 years, uh, some drastic changes need to take place to save the planet. So let's do that. Let's everybody chip in, save the planet. I'm saving it with my art. <laughs> I have a feeling that the, the art I've been doing now for my entire life, which is like a meditation for me, it makes me relax. And every time I do draw, it takes me a while to get into it till I get that sweet spot, the groove. Then I get in the groove a while. Then I get out of the groove. And then I quit drawing for the day and whatever. But it's taking me other places mentally. And it opens up doors of your mind, for sure, perceptions. So now that we've got that roughly, let's say this. Okay. And we're going to do a shading layer, just roughly. And then we're going to figure out what we're going to clip off and how that's going to go. So I'm going to add another layer called helmet shading, just for now. It's how I can differentiate what I'm doing. Pick another song. Let's try Summer. And then first, let's go over this in uh, some kind of room.
let's make sure we get the background out and make sure we get this some of this on the color layer of the face nope sketch layer again So we can up this, oh, I, this is at 18%, should be at 100. Let me up this up, up, up. This may be on the layer we just created. So let's go back to the helmet line work. So you get that off, get that off, be very specific with your layers, you can always draw stuff back in, you can always take stuff out. So helmet shading, just in case I had anything on there, see that? Now this one little bugger, let's find that. So let's go to bandana, see if it's in the bandana layer. Is it? Mm, no, it is blue. It's all part of that. Now we're seeing the background through there. And shirt layer, any of that on shirt layer. Oh, let me see something. No. So I'm going to start all the way at the bottom. And just in case I hit it when it was on this layer. No. Okay. Uh, no, I did not. And background. Edit. Undo. Erase. Hmm, erase, let's see. It's not that layer. So now we're going to go to the sketch layer. It's not that layer. Then we're going to the face layer. Not that layer. We're going to the shirt layer. Not that layer. And down layer. Not that layer. Tribal designs did he get on there when I was doing that? Space helmet. Helmet shading. So somehow that's that's in there. Um, hmm. I don't know how they do that sometimes. So background. I don't think it's in the background. Oop, I don't know why it's doing that. You take the background off. Oh, I'm on helmet shading. Sorry. Got to press harder. There we go. Whoop. Still don't know why it's doing that. Jumps back. Jumps back. Okay. Uh, turn that off and on. Let's see something. For sure, it's in that layer. Okay. So we get in that layer. Or any race. Let's go to brush for a minute. Let's take a color. Let's just brush it through here. Okay. And I'm wondering if it's on the sketch. It is not. Well, I can solve that at a later time. Okay. Let's go to, uh, see now I like this transparent thing we got going there, but it's probably not going to end up that way. Back to helmet shading. 
and this out. I'll just get rid of it or darken the area, which I could do very easily in uh, background, although I'm curious as to what it is. You know, I can kind of go like that and like this. Increase this brush. Increase this. Oh, the mini erase. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Lightly push. There we go. Lightly bringing it up. Yeah. Interesting. So then I can transition this too back into a reddish purple like that. See, so kind of interesting spectrum there. And you notice it's not getting into the shirt much. Okay. So let me save that. Make sure it's uh, my typical one. I'll save it. Now I could save it with a different name if I liked the other one first. But there's not much I redrew, I just took a part of his do-rag. Let's pick another track of music, one's called Shiny. <laughs> this you know stuff busyness going on so space helmet I want to take out some lines in between those peg marks or whatever these are these extru extended extrusions let me edit undo go back get in between there so you can enlarge this and then move it into view and go around tightly with your eraser and these things, really, they take me a long time to do, as you know, till I find that sweet spot. The sweet spot where everything just starts to flow. Because right now it's still undecided where the real direction of this is going. Let's make sure we sweep that off. The cleaning, little house cleaning there. And in the large areas, just kind of making sure any extraneous marks are off. Okay. And this, uh, go to sketch, the space helmet sketch, right in here, and just kind of tidy that up a bit. And if those music tracks are pretty short on that free music, it's too bad it doesn't spool over. So let's uh, let's try some jazz. 
we'll go through a bunch of jazz tracks they have. So let's try a jazz Frenchie. All of them are like from uh, a minute and a half. This is a nice thing about being in layers. You can really just perfect, clean up, and doodle. I'm kind of in a Wondering what to do these days with myself. So, practicing away. And sometimes it's grunt work, it's grunt stuff. While it's slow, it's still getting to the goal. And then all of a sudden you kick into uh, your shapes. You know, so okay, file save. And we'll go to the next tune, all that. <laughs> Thank you. 
46 minutes. So now we're going to kick it up. Nope. That's that erase. Don't erase. I'm going to brush. So let's set this right. That's pretty good. And start doing graphite black. Not a textured brush or anything right now. We're just, just going to define darks shaded areas so it might even add some more black and I got a lot of stuff to figure out this week a lot of stuff in the air it's going to be a tricky week for me but I have high hopes I hope I'm gonna just there we go. Funk you around. Funky or okay. Now maybe I have a disc on this side. So let's just uh, let's ghost in a disc. So we would go uh, here maybe the ellipse tool. Um, let me see how that works. Perfect. And I'm going to do any ellipse up here. And then I want to rotate that. So I would take that and I put that inside this box. And then I'd go to transform. And I would go to Edit. I 
rotate. So you go transform path rotate like that. Then you can take this and turn it like that. And you can elongate it. So, okay, that's kind of cool. And now I'm going to distort. So I would go to uh, edit transform path warp. And then I would take that and just kind of warp the metrics of it. See? It's kind of interesting. Think of the size, how much I want. <laughs> yeah, that looks cool. I like the curve, so I, I can grab these handles, see, and I can change that shape. And it's got kind of a, a bezel out this way, and that's cool. So then we select, so you hit enter, and then you're done with your transform, and you hit deselect, and that's done with your selection. See, like that. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll put a little more music on. I'll do a little more work. Once it gets to a, an hour, I'm going to call it quits. But it's a start. And a very slow start today. Let's see here. But um, I'm going to get this onto another screen where I can watch it. Okay. And, you know, we're just tapping out. Uh, we're just seeing how I can do this kind of an experiment with the interview. Uh, actually, on the laptop with all the browsers open. Two browsers open. Uh, keep kind of, I will not be recording because I'm seeing working in Photoshop. And uh, so, yeah. so, yeah. kind of a, like I say, experiment. Let me get back into this. YouTube and nobody bugs me. And we'll get some of this together here. So I'm fleshing out something I have no idea where I'm going with it. And that's okay with me. 
because I don't always like to know where I'm going. You know, I, sometimes I just drive. <laughs> I used to do that a lot in the world, but the world's expressways are so crazy now that uh, it takes a little more patience. Cars are moving, you know. You could kind of just flip a coin at corners and intersections and stuff when you're young and when you're walking. I used to do that, or taking my bike, just go to a corner, flip a penny, right or left, heads or tails, you know, that kind of stuff when you're a kid. Spend the whole day doing that. <laughs> as long as you remember where you're going to get, or where you got to get back to, because we didn't have... Uh, we didn't have global satellites. We didn't have any of that stuff. We used our minds. <laughs> Imagine that. We were mindful. What in the world were we thinking? Oh, yeah. Just see how that kind of gets on there, lens? Just cool to know. We're going to take it off the lens for now. Calling his eye a lens. And just, uh, I want you to see how I, you know, Kind of get my feel for stuff without any, I had no rhyme or reason what I was going to do, you know, and it may look completely different from all this when I really get down to it, but um, starting to get a rhythm, starting to have a feeling. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Let me give us about two minutes more and then I'll cut this video. Um, I like worms and cools and stuff and uh, it, can, it looks like paint, you know, and I'm going to put feathers in this eventually and who knows what else. But this is uh, just one hour, you know, that's all I'm putting in right now and just finding a, finding a direction. Uh, something cooking you know it's 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 the heat sensor working now transparency would be cool but we're not going to do any transparency at the moment and there we're we're coming in on the shape here the warmth i like that it's kind of interesting there so i have a real human face which um that appeals to me you know, it brings the reality into it. You have the human, you have kind of the ink and Mayan look, the special nose that they had. I'm going to pull the eyelid up a little. Uh, he could have been smoking something in the ceremony, you know, whether it's a, a psychotropic plant or just tobacco, and the blowing of the tobacco is... Um, let's go to the shirt level for a minute. Part of the rhythm. I mean, part of the experience. And let's keep their colorful stuff in there. We're getting to like an army green something in here. Just to sort of drop that in behind. See how that color matches up. That would be some good feathers in there. This is just reference, you know, and I'll change these things. So, yeah, let's call that a wrap. Let me save this. Very nice session. And what I'm going to do is save it as a JPEG. And my JPEG is going to be 02 because I saved one. See, there's a JPEG, so I hit that. Then I change the number down here to see, see how I work. Because I, I took the basic name of my PDS, PSD file, then I went 001, and now we're 002. Second frame. Save it at the max. And thanks for tuning in to this session. Make sure it's saved one more time because I'm a paranoid. <laughs> and then I will cut the video and post it. 
So up here, let's see, stop. 